all right so how's it going everybody hope you're all doing well and please press on that like button because this video took me a lot of time to make today we are taking a look at the leaked benchmarks of the intel core i9 3900k and they seem pretty promising so let me explain what happened that day or the day of recording this video because a lot has happened and a lot of leaks has turned out so yeah let's get to it when we were looking at the intel core i9 3900k a listing of an engineering sample with a blurred you know photo of the model name itself so it was going for $460 it was listed that it works okay on a Z690 board I believe from Asus or ASRock and basically uh, from the benchmarks it was looking okay like it was looking that it can boost all the way up to 4.6 gigahertz and the base clock was 2.4 so yeah it's an engineering sample we haven't seen much now recently a couple of hours afterwards there was a user actually from the forum I cannot remember the name but basically he said that he is the one who sold the CPU or he's the one who owned the CPU and he confirmed that by posting a picture of an unblurred image of the CPU and it was used as an Intel Confidential the name and I believe the code name was Q0D8 and he said that there is also another e engineering sample with the name of ES3 so this ES3 sample was a pretty beast of a CPU actually the ES1 version the Q d8 or the not so fast one it didn't support overclocking it didn't support ddr4 and this has to do something with the fact that you know the bias isn't fully supported yet while the other version the as3 one it could actually boost all the way up to 5.3 gigahertz on all cores and on single cores 5.5 gigahertz some people said that this cpu will actually can go all the way up to 6 gigahertz or i believe that the 3900k as version would do so but yeah the 3900k es3 or the engineering sample the better one it's uh can go all the way up to ddr5 7200 megahertz so the single core performance benchmarks when you compare it to the 12900k we're only looking at seven percent increase in performance which is okay it's not the best thing but it's okay given that it's the engineering sample the es3 version so there is still a lot of room for improvement while the es1 version actually fell behind the 12900 100k but both versions were faster than the ryzen 9 5950x actually the 5950x was slower than the 3900k es sample for around 35 percent which is huge difference while the multi-threaded performance was faster by like 25 percent or something of that sort i think it should be faster because we're looking at actually more physical cores and higher ipc basically so i'm pretty sure like yeah it's not the best when it comes to scalings but we should see at least 30 percent more performance but this is not the case this is still an engineering sample it's not fully optimized there are a lot of things that go against it so this gives you an idea of how good this cpu will be and this is only an engineering sample but the this engineering sample seems to be pretty close from the retail so yeah it's getting pretty close folks and amd seems to be in a rough spot right now given that this is a 24 cores 32 threaded cpu when you compare it to the Ryzen 7000 series, uh, AMD promised or said that the IPC difference was only gonna be like 15 to 20 percent, somewhere in that territory. So that means that actually the Intel CPUs will be uh, faster in terms of the single core performance by 15 to 20 percent, which is a lot actually. So it's not that optimistic, and it kind of feels like these AMD Ryzen CPUs will be overpriced. And there was a previous rumors that some people or AMD are working on making the Ryzen 7000 series CPUs compatible with the AM4 platform, but it's not on their plan. So yeah, it kind of feels like AMD is the real or the new villain of CPU market right now because Intel is gonna offer really good value and great performance from what it looks like. So yeah, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself a villain. So hey, that's been it. If you like that video, press the like button. If you wanna see more videos of that, can subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.